Number 15, Cannibal Holocaust, 1980. The story centers around a documentary film crew that goes missing in the Amazon rainforest. A professor ventures into the Amazon and discovers a tribe who possess the missing film of the crew and takes it back to New York. He and his colleagues then view the footage only to discover the chain of events leading to the crew's deaths, including savage acts of abuse towards the tribe's people, which include rape, physical assault, and even gathering tribe's people into huts and burning them down, the people still trapped inside. Eventually the natives have enough and proceed to kill the crew members and cannibalize them. The film was banned in Iceland and New Zealand for high impact violence and depictions of human and animal cruelty. Animals were actually killed on the film to present a sense of realism and the death scenes the actors performed were so realistic for the time that director Ruggiero Diodato was arrested for murder and the film confiscated by Italian authorities. The film remains banned in Iceland and New Zealand to this day. Norway had also banned the film in 1984, but the ban was lifted in 2005 after an edited version was approved for distribution. 14. The Last Temptation of Christ, 1988 The film depicts the final days of Jesus Christ, before and up to his crucifixion. The film was banned outright in Turkey, Singapore and the Philippines due to the controversial portrayal of Christ, which was seen as a blasphemy and insensitive to Christian beliefs. The most controversial scene was Jesus and Mary Magdalene consummating their union, which was seen as too much and not accurate to biblical accounts. The film stirred up so much controversy that a theatre in Paris was firebombed by a French fundamentalist Christian group, injuring 13 people. In order to prevent further incidents, Mexico, Chile and Argentina requested cuts be made before release. It's still currently banned in the Philippines and Singapore, with no plan to release the film in the near future. 13. Natural Born Killers, 1984 Mickey and Mallory Knox venture across America on a crime spree, which includes robbery and murder. All the while, the media portrays them in a folk hero sort of persona, and the couple gain a reputation as heroes, despite their savage nature. A satire of the media and their ways of making villains look like heroes, the film was banned in Ireland and release was delayed until 1995 out of fear it would inspire copycat crimes. While some may say that it's overthinking the situation, Natural Born Killers has been blamed for inspiring some of the most notorious crime sprees, including the Columbine High School shooting in Littleton, Colorado on April 19, 1999. The perpetrators, Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold, constantly refer to the film in their video diaries, referring to it as NBK, saying things such as, When I go NBK and people say things like, Oh, it was so tragic, or Oh, he is crazy, or It was so bloody, just because your mommy and daddy told you blood and violence is bad. Home distribution in the UK was cancelled in March 1996 in the wake of the Dunblane Massacre, the UK's worst school shooting. 12. Faces of Death, 1978 A documentary exploitation film exploring different cultures and how they interpret death and the afterlife. The film supposedly shows actual footage of people dying, including execution by electric chair, the aftermath of a plane crash into a residential neighborhood with dismembered bodies, and stock footage of napalm strikes during the Vietnam War. Released with the slogan banned in 40 plus countries, the film was only banned in Australia, Norway, Finland, New Zealand and the UK for its realistic portrayal of death, mutilation and extreme violence. The makers soon admitted half of the footage was faked for the film, while the other half consisted of unreleased newsreel and stock footage they found during development. One real scene includes the aftermath of a cyclist's collision with a semi-tractor trailer and shows paramedics and the coroner's office scooping up the deceased's brain matter from the road. 11. The Exorcist Probably the most famous film on here, The Exorcist is an adaptation of the William Peter Blatty novel of the same name. A young girl conducts a Ouija board session with her mother and soon becomes possessed by a malevolent spirit claiming to be the devil. Desperate, her mother pleads to a local priest to aid her, and he teams up with an elderly priest to chase the evil out of the young girl. The film, while not being too disturbing by today's standards, was met with an immediate controversy upon release. Audiences were known to vomit, pass out, or run screaming from the theatre in terror over the images within the film. The UK banned the film until 1990 for its graphic scenes and portrayal of a minor conducting controversial scenes and citing explicit language. 
People even claimed the film had subliminal imagery and messages into the final edit, though this has not been confirmed. 10. A Clockwork Orange, 1971 This cult classic details the story of Alex and his gang as they commit vicious acts of theft, assault and rape. Alex is sentenced to prison for the murder of a woman he attempts to rape and he has chosen for an experiment to make him unable to perform acts of violence. After the experiment proves successful, Alex is released but finds he is unable to defend himself due to acts of violence making him violently ill. The idea of youth committing such severe crimes shocked the public and quickly drew controversy. A particular scene sees Alex and his droogs performing a home invasion where Alex beats the homeowners while singing Singing in the Rain, then proceeds to rape the wife whilst forcing the husband to watch. The film was banned in Ireland between 1971 and 2000 and Norway between 1971 and 2011. Whilst it remains banned in South Korea due to the realistic portrayal of violence and rape. The film was also blamed for inspiring copycat crimes throughout the UK and the government withdrew the film from cinemas until director Stanley Kubrick's death in 1999. 9. The Battleship Potemkin, 1925 The film is the dramatization of the 1905 mutiny of the Russian battleship Potemkin, where the crew rebelled against the Tsarist regime. It served as a propaganda film by the Soviet Union to inspire the ideas of communism and show the oppression of the old forms of government, particularly Tsarim and monarchism. The film was banned outright in France, the UK, West Germany, Finland, South Korea and Spain out of fears it would inspire revolution. It is unique as it was not banned due to its depictions of violence but because of the growing Red Scare during the early stages of the Soviet Union's existence its antagonistic rhetoric towards Western politics and the state of post-World War I Europe as the nations attempted to rebuild, with socialism growing in popularity as a result of anger. The UK lifted the ban in 1945 and France in 1953, and the film has gained a reputation amongst film viewers, with some even dubbing it the best film of all time. 8. The Human Centipede 2 Full Sequence 2011 the film acts as if the first human centipede never happened and was just a film. A man obsessed with the film begins to fantasize about creating his own human centipede and buys an old warehouse in order to fit his creation. He begins kidnapping people from the parking garage he works security at and begins to make his grotesque fantasy a reality. The film was refused classification in both the United Kingdom and Australia in 2011, effectively banning cinema distribution in both countries due to extreme graphic violence. In October 2011, director Tom Six edited out two minutes of the film, including scenes depicting the stapling of human subjects to each other, which was approved by the British Rating Board and released for home distribution. The following year, Australia approved the new edited down version as well, and it was available on DVD. However, due to revelations in Australia, the film was not submitted for rating in New Zealand, and therefore has never been released there, with no current plans to attempt a release for cinema or home distribution in the future. 7. The Interview, 2014 Two journalists land an interview with North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un, so the CIA collaborates with them to plan the leader's assassination. Only weeks before the planned wide release, hackers hacked Sony Pictures and threatened acts of violence and terror should the film be released. Because of this, Sony cancelled the theatrical release of the film. However, local cinemas showed the film in defiance since the film wasn't officially banned and no major incidents ever occurred. The film is banned in South Korea out of fear of North Korea aggression and retaliation to the film's content. There were even plans to airdrop the film into North Korea via weather balloons, but the South Korean government warned of harsh justice to those who attempted to do so. Russia and the other former Soviet countries also banned the film, calling it offensive and dangerous, claiming it promoted terrorism. The film is available for online viewing and home media in North America and most of Europe. 6. Pink Flamingos, 1972 the Johnson family holds the title of the most disgusting family. They are soon challenged by another family to take the title, so the two families show down to out-disgust one another. Director John Waters admitted he, the crew and the actors were stoned for a majority of the film and basically wrote all the segments on the spot. Australia banned the film in 1976 for offensive content due to the film's depiction of exploitation, sexual violence, incest 
and adult themes. Scenes include depictions of rape, real fellatio, incest, and even one famous scene at the end where actor Divine eats fresh dog poop, which he really ate for the sake of realism. The ban in Australia was only lifted in 1997 with heavy cuts and was released on home media. The film is also banned in Norway and some provinces in Canada for the same reasons, though those bans are no longer in effect. 5. Monty Python's Life of Brian, 1979. A parody of the life of Jesus Christ, the film tells the story of Brian, who due to a series of misunderstandings is believed to be the Messiah, though he constantly denies such claims to divinity. As his reputation as a saviour becomes greater and greater, the Romans declare him a threat and he is eventually executed by crucifixion. The film was briefly banned in Ireland and Norway due to blasphemy and scenes deemed offensive to religion, including scenes of nudity, religious criticism and mocking of Christian beliefs. The film does have a critical perception of religion, particularly Christianity, which was seen as offensive by many people, sparking quick controversy. Sweden famously capitalised on the ban in Norway, with posters saying, so funny, it was banned in Norway. Fortunately, the ban in Norway lasted only a year, while Ireland lifted the ban in 1987. The film still stirs controversy with the Christian world today. 4. Birth of a Nation, 1916 This famous D.W. Griffith film portrays the aftermath of the American Civil War, with former slaves now running the southern states, drinking their weight in alcohol and attempting to rape every white woman they come across. The Ku Klux Klan bands together in order to restore order and drive away the oppressive African Americans in order to save the South. Various cities across the United States, including Los Angeles, New York and Chicago, refused to screen the film for its racism and inaccurate historical depiction of American history post-Civil War. Also, this was during the time the KKK was declared an illegal terrorist organization. Its portrayal of African Americans as drunk rapists hit a severe sore spot with the many progressives, with critics deeming such depictions as frivolous and demeaning. On a positive note, the film sparked the beginning of the African Americans beginning to produce and direct films in order to create a more positive betrayal on their ancestry. 3. A Serbian Film, 2010 A retired porn star is contacted by a well-known director to star in one final film, which the man agrees to. However, he quickly discovers the sinister nature of the film and questionable sanity of the director, as much of the film involves extreme actions, including necrophilia, murder, and a controversial scene dubbed the newborn porn scene, where the director shows the main character a previous film he has done where a woman gives birth and the deliverer proceeds to rape the newborn fetus. The film was banned in Norway, New Zealand, Australia, Malaysia and Singapore for objectionable contact with depictions of paedophilia, necrophilia, extreme violence and other overall offensive content depicted in the film. The film was briefly banned in Brazil but the ban was overturned in 2012. Netflix removed the film from its library and currently the home release versions are only available online in North America. Two. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 1974. A deranged Texan family harasses a group of teens and one by one murders them in order to collect their meat for consumption. Probably one of the most well-known films on the list, the film was banned in West Germany between 1974 and 1978 and Iceland between 1985 and 1999, as well as Brazil, Chile, France and others for short periods of time. Censors weren't impressed with the high levels of violence which they saw as extremely shocking for the time and involved people being bludgeoned to death with hammers, hung alive on meat hooks and surprisingly only one death by chainsaw as the villain Leatherface attacks a defenseless man bound to a wheelchair. Many other countries including Australia refused to allow the film to be released until an edited version was submitted and approved. In a more extreme case in Ottawa, Canada, two local cinemas was threatened prosecution by police for breaking morality laws, forcing the cinemas to cancel future screenings. 1. Sallow, or The 120 Days of Sodom, 1975 The final film of director Pierre Paolo Pasolini's murder. The film centers around a group of male and female aristocrats in northern Italy during the latter half of World War II. 
They kidnap a dozen boys and a dozen girls and subject them to various forms of sadistic tortures, including rape, sexual humiliation and dining on feces. Australia banned the film in 1976 for its depiction of what the censors called indecency, with the film depicting paedophilia, torture and extreme violence towards minors. One scene found too disturbing by critics involved the teens strapped to collars and forced to act like dogs, and the final scene where the teens are butchered while the aristocrats watch at a distance. The ban in Australia was lifted in 1993 with a rating of R19+, equivalent to an NC17 rating in the US. The British Board of Film Censors refused to give the film a rating in 1976, and after a cinema began showing the film without authorization, the police rated the establishment and seized the film. The film was eventually allowed to screen theatrically, uncut in 2000, and was made available for home distribution the same year got an idea for a top 15 list, be sure to leave it in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe for future videos. Thanks for watching.